Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a Christmas shopping spree, what I got for Christmas kind of haul video. Um, I've got quite a few things in front of me um, so I'm going to get straight to it and I think the first thing that I'm really excited about um, and I've been wanting for ages, I think I even wanted them as far back as like last Christmas and I just haven't been able to find a pair that either fits or the heel isn't high enough and that is a pair of knee-high boots I bought this brown pair from Next um, they are a size 8 usually I am a size 9 which explains why I haven't been able to find a pair that fit um, because usually most shops only go up to 9 but I have found this pair of 8s and I saw them and I thought um, there's no way they're gonna fit but I'm gonna try them on anyway and they did fit so I had to have these and I think they look really nice with a long dress, skirts, you know winter's here now so and I've got a lot of winter dresses that I would like to wear these with so that's the first thing and then the second thing is I bought, um, I had a white company voucher as a gift for Christmas and I went in and I bought a few things so the first thing is when I went in, I wanted the Fireside candles, um, mainly because the Fireside is just my favourite scent that they do. It It's like smoky, it's vanilla-y, um, and it literally just smells like a log fire in a candle. Um, but it is a limited edition candle that I think they, they must only bring out in autumn. Um, so they didn't have any of the like jarred wick candles. So I actually feel like when I was in the shop I was a bit disappointed but then I actually now on reflection I'm actually glad they didn't because it forced me to buy a home spray which I think will be really good for leaving in bathrooms in the kitchen if I'm cooking you know something particularly fragrant and I just want to get rid of all the cooking smells so I have that and then also I picked up this white candle dish and I found at the back of one of the shelves a pillar fireside candle so I'm thinking that that on there somewhere in my house will look really nice maybe on one of my wooden tables in the living room so there's that and then the firewood fireside spray as well so that was my white company kind of haul and then the other things that I got I'm going to do the clothes that I got in a bit and I'll probably show you what they look like on um so i'll now do the makeup that i bought i went to fenwick's which for any of you who don't know is a massive department store in york and they have a lot of beauty counters and since getting the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner and lip gloss i have been wanting more charlotte tilbury products so i actually went and sat there and they did my makeup for me and i ended up buying quite a few products which um you know we won't go into how, how expensive they were but the first thing is this airbrush flawless foundation um i never seem to get the right shade i'm quite pale um so i am the shade two which is neutral um but she tried it on me and it just felt really soft and light and she barely used any as well so i just thought that that was the perfect thing for me because I just I detest having to put foundation on because it's either too thick or it doesn't blend in very well and I end up with streaks um so that was really nice and then she also tried on this liquid concealer by Charlotte Tilbury and this again is the shade two but this is fair um and it comes with this sponge on the top so I'm not sure how it works i assume you just click the bottom and then just dab away but i have really dark circles under my eyes so she tried this on and she spread it in and they just weren't there you couldn't see the purple so i thought that's another thing i need i need a new concealer anyway um so why not buy a product that yes is more expensive but you use less than having to buy a drugstore one that you have to keep buying and buying so I invested in one of them and then um, I also invested in a brush. Um, 
I'm currently using makeup sponges, but at the moment I'm finding they're not blending in very well. Um, I do use quite a thick primer and um, moisturiser, so that could be why. But she used this double-sided Hollywood Complexion Charlotte Tilbury brush. Um, and just the way it went on, I thought it was really nice. So it's got the thicker end here and then the thinner end here for just blending. And I'm assuming concealer as well, you can use it. So I thought that was a good purchase. And then I had to, I couldn't resist um, picking up another lip luster. And this is in the shade walk of no shame um they didn't have the matching lip liner in stock so i'm probably going to go online and order that um but you can wear this without the lip liner you don't need it um i can't even get the thing out now that's worrying come on okay oh my god it's broken in there what okay well that's gonna have to be returned that's horrendously awful um but yeah i've got the walk of no shame lip bath um and then they also gave me a charlotte magic cream uh instant moisturizer as well so i'm probably going to try that out at some point this afternoon go through the books that i picked up um i did get quite a few waterstones vouchers for christmas which is honestly the best thing anyone can ask for um the first book that i picked up was the house in the cerulean sea by tj clune um i've seen this a lot on bookstagram and goodreads and i thought i probably need to give it a try um i think it's like a modern fairy tale um and the antichrist and an orphanage um, but i just love the cover um so that is the first one the second one i picked up is the beloved girls um, this is by Harriet Evans and it is about a successful banister that vanishes from a train station on the eve of her anniversary. Um, so I think a mystery that also has like, it seems to be quite aesthetical. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that one and it is signed by the author so I thought that was quite nice. And then the one that I'm going to hopefully start reading today is Colson Whitehead, Harlem Shuffle. I have read The Underground Railroad by him and I loved it. And I believe this has also won quite a few awards. Um, so keep your eyes out because I'll probably do a reading vlog on this in the new year. Um, I'm really excited to get into that. I just haven't really had time at the moment to just sit down and just read something. Um, and then I've also got some clothes. Um, I probably won't try them on now, but I will show them. So the first thing is this white ribbed knitted, I guess it's a dress. I, well, yeah, it is a dress. I tried it on in the shop and it comes down to my knees, um, but it's really soft and it's like it's tight but it doesn't cling so you don't see any like lumps and bumps um so i really like that and it's kind of got like a scooped v-neck as well so that is the first thing and i have been looking for a sweater dress for so long um the next thing is a long dress that i bought from monsoon and this is just lovely on it's got this really nice ruche detail near the top the sleeves are three quarters and it just goes all the way down to maybe mid calf so that will look i think those colors will go really well together um so that could be like a new year's eve party outfit um the next thing is a jacket from marks and spencers and it's this like faux leather wet material and it just looks so nice and then i tie it at the front um and this is a really nice fit because um i thought it would be a bit tight and i'd have to go a size up but actually i had a scarf and a jumper on when i tried this and it is so nice and it is quite stretchy as well so i think that'll be nice for all seasons because it is quite thin and you can layer on underneath if needed and then of course my haul wouldn't be a haul without anything from zara um I felt like I was a little bit disappointed with what they had to offer. Um, I think although it was really busy, so maybe that had something to do with it, I don't know. Um, but this is what I got. It's a really nice, thick, 
um, material and it's just a cropped, like, I don't know. Yeah, a cropped polo and I like that. And it looks nice with a tweed jacket over the top and it would actually probably look nice underneath there too. And then the last thing that I got, which I'm not too sure about at the moment, I think I saw it and I saw how reduced it was in price. I just had to kind of pick it up and I need more jumpers. And it is this brown um, with a collar. I, I have seen a lot of people wear collars with jumpers. So I don't know, maybe that's a thing now. But I think that would look really nice with leggings or jeans. Um, so really, I've had quite a successful shopping trip other than the lipstick that I now need to go return which is just killing me a little bit inside because it means I have to go back into town and I really didn't want to have to do that today but it's fine we can go for a nice walk and then come back it's fine um, but honestly thank you so much for watching this video I know it's probably a bit rushed but I just wanted to put something out there and you know just <laughs> show some of the things that i've bought and i always like watching these kind of videos when other youtubers do them so i thought i'd do the same and yeah i really hope you've had a good day and i hope you continue have to have a good rest of your week and i will see you in my next video